Great to welcome to the Book Talk segment today. A man has written a very interesting and fascinating book about his experiences. He's uh, had quite a life. It's called Total Focus, Make Better Decisions Under Pressure. We're joined today by Brandon Webb. And, uh, of course, as I said, a fascinating life so far. Former Navy SEAL and now a a CEO of a very successful uh, digital media business called Hurricane Media. And he joined us by telephone today. And, Brandon, good to talk with you. How are you? I'm great, Doug. Thanks for having me. Yeah, good to have a chance to chat with you for a couple of minutes uh, about the book. First of all, the Thank you for your service. Just reading the book, uh, you talk a lot about what you went through as a, as a Navy SEAL. So if nothing else in your life, if you made it through that, uh, I guess you, you did okay, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, thank you. Now, of course, you, you, when you left uh, the, that program, you, you decided to go into uh, make your own business. And uh, that's kind of what the book is about, uh, some of your uh, trials and tribulations, putting together your, your digital media company. And uh, first of all, uh, Hurricane Media is basically for military uh, uh, information, right? Uh, content uh, dedicated you to the know, military. You know, we we focus on military related content, but it's the stuff that you watch on the History Channel or Discovery Channel on cable television. When you see the documentaries and the stories, we do that same thing, but we do it um, online. So we have a TV channel called Frontfrep TV. Right. You can download the app, get it on the phone anywhere. And we also do e-commerce. So we have a, a men's gear club. Um, it's a subscription club from for men called the Crate Club after a military ammo crate. Um, but it's a great business, and you know. But I, I got out of the steel teams in 2006. I started a training company. We bought some land, and you know, I three and a half years later lost everything, lost my life savings, lost friends and family money, and it was a very humbling experience. Um, got divorced shortly after my wife left me, <laughs> so it was a low point in my life for sure. And I built it back up, and I, I credit a lot of the, the principles that I learned in the military, and the, especially the SEAL sniper training portion, because we really, in, in sniper training, focus on mental management, positive psychology, visualization, self-talk, because, you know, how to coach ourselves and talk to ourselves in a positive way as opposed to negative because negativity, you know, I, I deal with it still to this day. Stuff creeps in and but developing a habit to combat that, um, very important. And, and so, you know, applying that now, you know, I lost my business in 2009 and, and here we are, um, you know, today and I, I built up this, this great business. I have an amazing team and I just wanted to, to write and share my experiences, um, you know, with my lessons learned. And and this isn't a, you know, some gimmick book. This is, look, you you have to put in the hard work. Um, And I share my story of failing on the the way to success, and and I think there's some valuable lessons in there that, that people will take away. Yeah, I think anybody uh, you know who does this type of work uh, in the media business, and now with all the digital, and, and you know we do podcasting here as well, it, it, it's it's still kind of the, the frontier, the wild west. So uh, you, you learn you learn some lessons the hard way. I've, I'm learning lessons the hard way, but uh, but like you said, the principles you learned uh, when it's life and death, uh, you can apply that to business. Uh, it helps, right? Absolutely. You know, I, I talk about in the book situational awareness um, in your personal life and in business, and as you know, and in the radio business, the podcast has really gone mainstream now, and, and you've got to be paying attention to that stuff and adapting. And if you don't, you know, you wake up one day and you you find, you know, that you've you possibly become marginalized. And so, you know, I see people all, and hear them all the time, you know, whether it's divorce, part, business partnership, and they, they look back and say, oh, all well, the signs were there. And so, you know, again, a, a, a principle I talk about in the book is, maintaining a habit of being situationally aware and in the, in the seal is very critical life and death um, to pay attention to that but i think it's very useful to develop a habit in, in our personal and professional lives because we're able to adapt and you know for me i saw the advertising industry specifically in digital advertising being disrupted by facebook and google and our ad rates were declining, and I said, we need to charge a digital subscription and start this e-commerce business to, to kind of become sustainable and not so reliant on, on digital ad spend. And that was a decision we made a long time ago that's since paid off in, in spades. And that's only because I was paying attention 
and and I think that's you know a really important principle I talk about in the book. Yeah, I think you make a good point there. With uh, when, when it first started the digital thing, everybody kind of applied the broadcast method of uh, you know just getting ads to to support whatever show you did. But like you said, that that kind of got so diluted. Uh, you had to come up with another yep. way, and, and the subscription model, uh, along with selling items maybe on the side, uh, that it's kind of a combination of three things, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, and it's 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 paid off. The the affiliate you know, program with Amazon is is a, is a huge um, part of what we do as well. And so you know, just and we've adapted. We we were in 2012, 95 percent reliant on ad ad revenue, and today that's. You know, probably fifteen percent. So you know, we've we've adapted, and and uh, it's a great business. Well, I like uh, the chapter you wrote, or like the, one of the themes in the book. Uh, Entrepreneurs must learn to embrace the suck. <laughs> I like that term because <laughs> it, it's true. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta take yeah, it there yeah. and make it work for you, right? Yeah. When you look, when you realize that failing is not. It, failing is sometimes necessary to succeed, and that adversity is an opportunity to learn and grow as a person. Um, when you take that attitude, it's, it becomes very powerful. Um, you know, I, I have young young kids, and my daughter saw something on, you know, something negative on social media. Some, somebody had had said, and it was, a, you know, it, at first I was a little upset. I, I took it as an opportunity. To, to sit down and talk with her and say, look, this is a life lesson here. You are going to, if you are successful in life, people will always say stuff and, and act and, and they're not sometimes in a good place. And you have to realize that that's just the way it is, the way the world is, and you have to deal with it. And so I just turned the negative into a, into a positive and a, and a teaching point for my daughter. And just getting um, back to the, the, the so title. Yeah, go, go ahead, I'm sorry. Yep. No, I was saying that's where you look at, you know, adversity. I could have got upset and and really focused on the negative, but I said this is a great learning um, example for my daughter. So embracing the suck and when life throws you those curveballs, which it always does, you know, just <laughs> focusing on the positive and how to how to turn it into a positive. Yeah, I was just going to say, you know, again, back to the title of the book, Total Focus, and uh, that's a skill, I, I'm not sure they're teaching it in, in schools, they probably should, but uh, learning how to focus or concentrate, uh, uh, no matter what you do, I mean, uh, just to kind of black, you know, block out the negatives or, or, or you know, negative uh, influences that people tend to give you, that's the toughest part, but uh, but you, you give a lot of techniques in the book of how to do that. Following your gut is one of them, right? Don't, don't overanalyze everything. Yeah, following your... Following your gut and, and the, the total focus part that I emphasize the most is I see a lot of people in careers or the entrepreneurs and they're chasing all these different opportunities and they're chasing so many that never that they never come to fruition. And the moment I, I remember when I, I made the decision to focus on my core business and grow it and, and say no to a lot of distractions and, and opportunities, I started to have success. And, you know, it was, I had this conversation with an entrepreneur, Todd Dackerman, who I talk about in the book, and it really, it hit home, because he talked about the same situation. He was focused on all this other stuff, and and when he decided to focus on his Porsche dismantler business, you know, he would buy uh, wrecked Porsches off insurance companies for thousands of dollars, sell them for hundred, part them out for hundreds of thousands. Great business. And when he said he chose to focus on that, he really started to have success. And so I just, that resonated with me. And I said, I need to apply that to my my own life. And when I did, I started to have success. Well, the book is filled, like you said, with uh, not only your experiences, but you, you have uh, chapters on uh, different entrepreneurs, too. That kind of gives some great uh, insight of what they did as well. And it's called Total Focus, Make Better Decisions Under Pressure. We've been talking with Brandon Webb today. And uh, Brandon, give out that website once again. People can get more information about uh, you or the book. Sure. It's uh, brandontylerweb.com. I mean, all my social media and personal professional stuff is on there. And you can find out how to buy the book there. Anywhere the books are sold. You can get total focus. Great. And also Hurricane Media. Check that out as well. Uh, his uh, great digital media content on, uh, on a lot of military issues. But, Brandon, pleasure talking to you. Hopefully we can do it again. Uh, again congratulations, and uh, we'll do it down the road. Thanks for being with us. Yeah, thanks, Doug. I appreciate it. I'm Stan Brock. Thirty years ago, I formed Remote Area Medical to help people overseas. But then we found generations of families in America isolated by poverty from the health care they need. 
Together, we can take dental, vision, and medical help to a million adults and their kids, right here at home in the United States of America. If you'd like to order the book we're talking about, please go to DougMilesMedia.com and enter the author's name in the Amazon search box. Thank you for listening. Please come back soon for more conversations here at DougMilesMedia.com. This has been a presentation of Doug Miles Media, all rights reserved. You can listen to or download previous programs at iTunes, Stitcher.com, or DougMilesMedia.com.